Mac shop where I work was actually going to be a vibrator shop. Can you imagine me selling vibrators? Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising as Crew. So today, today we are going to talk about swingers on board cruise ships. But just a little update, thank you all for your wonderful comments on my last video. You're all so supportive and I'm not going to lie, I did have a little cry reading the comments because I was just like, I can't believe how, how wonderful you guys are. Um, and yeah, just, just know that like I really appreciate it and it made me feel better. And I do feel better, like every day that I'm on board, I'm feeling better, so your girl's gonna get there but anyway let's get into the video so there's been a lot of videos made about swingers on cruise ships and i just thought i would jump on the bandwagon and give you my take on it i guess it'll be like a little bit of a q a about swingers on board cruise ships and my experience with them so of course we are all individual, we all have our own sexual preferences and things that get us excited and if you have found a partner who likes to swing then good on you, why not? Life is about living and doing what makes you happy. But swinging over the past few years has become I guess more popular on board cruise ships you could say. I think it might be easier to find other people who like to swing because it's a enclosed population of people on a cruise ship but how do you like how do you find a couple that want to swing like what do you look for well as i'm sure we all know by now there is the upside down pineapple and this can be in any form some people put the upside down pineapple on their cabin door some people wear an upside down pineapple like a hat or a brooch the other one that i've heard there's a black ring on your right hand but like that's a little bit more inconspicuous because can you imagine if you went up to someone and you're like hey i can see that black ring on your right hand and they're like yeah it's it's just a, it's just a black ring on my right hand <laughs> you know you can never really be sure whether that's just something they like to wear or if it's a signal. The other one is like male and female signs with a a third sign in there. So like three, yeah, three gender signs. So they say like if you found any of these three things, you you found a swinger. But like I said, with the with the black ring on the finger, you know, maybe be a little bit more cautious. I feel like the pineapple and the three gender signs is pretty, pretty dead sir. Like, not everyone wears those kind of things. They're quite specific, but a black ring on your right hand could be, um, it could just be a fashion statement. <laughs> now, I actually have kind of an embarrassing story about how I first found out what the upside down pineapple meant. So when I started on cruise ships many, 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 many moons ago, and I was working in the spa. There was a, a couple that came in for a couple's massage and you know we went back into the treatment room after they got dressed to you know tell them the aftercare like drink lots of water, take it easy, blah 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 and they were both wearing uh, silver pineapple or upside down pineapple necklaces but they were very tasteful like they're not, they weren't like this bright yellow upside down, like they were very subtle, very, very nice upside down pineapple silver necklaces. And I was like, oh, I love, I love your necklaces. I think it's so cute that you're both wearing like matching necklaces. That's really sweet. I was like, but why, why the pineapple? Like, what does that represent to you in your relationship? Like, honestly, just it's just hindsight's funny isn't it you look back you're like oh my god but yeah so obviously they burst out laughing they'd been for treatments a few times so we built up like a a rapport at this point so they told me and they were like look we're swingers and this is you know this is how people can identify us as swingers but especially then like there wasn't really any youtube videos or any anything about it so it was very much like a if you know you know and if you don't know you just think that it's a cute pineapple necklace 
So anyway, me being a curious person that I am was like, oh wow, that's that's so interesting. And we got into a conversation about it. And then we started talking about the terminology used between swingers. So I thought I'd share some of that with you today. There is a unicorn, which is basically a woman who wants to swing on her own. So wants to sleep with a, with a couple. I was like, oh, a unicorn, that's a nice name. And they're like, yeah, it's because they're basically like mythical creatures. Like they don't exist. And if you find one, then you've, you've hit the jackpot. I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And then a rhino, I think that's a rhino or a, yeah, is a single man willing to swing. A mermaid is a married woman willing to swing with a couple on her own the word play means sex so you say like we don't play on the first date or and then rainbow's pretty obvious but they basically don't discriminate on gender so they're happy to swing with everyone and anyone and then there is um, hwp which is height weight proportional so basically saying that you're not if you say you're hwp you're not overweight ddf is drug and disease free and then like there's ff ffm fm ffm mfm or fff mmm and that stands for female and male so you could have like female 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 male male female male Male, 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 female, female, blah, blah, blah. You see what I'm getting at. So that is the terminology that I was educated on. And then I just wanted to answer some questions about swinging and virgin. Obviously, Virgin Voyages is an adults-only cruise. And I think there's a lot of misconceptions. Some people think it's a gay cruise. Some people think it's a swingers cruise. Some people think it's a sex cruise. Like, it, people are just going to be having sex everywhere. And it's is really not like that at all like honestly i came into contact when i worked in the spa i worked in royal caribbean i came into contact with this way more on like family cruise lines than i ever have on virgin i'm sure this happens on all cruise lines but virgin are not a swingers cruise line they have never advertised themselves as that so you are just as likely to find swingers on virgin as you are on royal carnival celebrity viking you name it you know none of these cruise lines have anything to do with swinging but people like what they like and then people wanted to know what the rules are about sex in public on virgin voyages same as any other cruise line don't have sex in public don't have sex on your balcony just do it in your cabin like regular people <laughs> um yeah like it's not a sex cruise line it's a regular cruise line we're here to make your vacation incredible um but when it comes to that part of your vacation you can take care of that in your cabin now when they started the cruise line they were definitely leaning more towards being a sexy cruise line um because the mac shop where i work was actually going to be a vibrator shop can you imagine me selling vibrators and also in the beginning every sailor was going to get like a little sex toy in their cabin so i think some of you who cruised on the, like the very first few voyages will have gotten a sex toy and while i think this idea was really innovative and it was really cool and they were really leaning into the fact that they were an adults only cruise line and they could do stuff like this they also recognised that by doing stuff like this, they were going to become known as a sex cruise. And that's not what they ever intended to be. So obviously, they've scrapped the vibrator in the cabin idea, and they've scrapped the uh, vibrator shop, and thank God I work in a Mac makeup shop. <laughs> People also wanted to know, can they sunbathe topless on the cruise ship? So that is a no. Same rules as any other cruise line, nudity, is not okay the only time it is okay is if the ship has been booked out on a charter cruise because then the rules of the charter apply rather than the cruise line because yeah so i'm sure you all know what a charter cruise is but just for those who don't um a charter company 
will basically go to Virgin and say, we want to hire the Scarlet Lady for a week. So Virgin will say, all right, that will be 500, I don't know how much, I don't know how much they charge, 500,000. So the charter company, okay, here you go. Now we are going to sell tickets for this cruise and it could be a gay cruise, there's, they do 80s rock cruises, there's swingers cruises, there's tattoo cruises like nowadays chart there are charter companies that do cruises for everyone um but like i said if you go on a charter cruise then the rules of the charter apply so i know that like nudity is more acceptable anyway you get what i'm saying but what i will say about virgin is because it is an adult only cruise line people feel more comfortable being sexier you know if you go on a family holiday or a family cruise line you probably don't want to put that thong bikini on around a bunch of like children on virgin it's a bit more acceptable to wear your like sexier swimwear or in the evening you can dress up a little sexier at night whereas like i said on a family cruise line that might not the same outfit might not be appropriate because of all the children are around and then there are things that are a little bit more risky like the ice cream shop on board is called lick me till i scream you ain't gonna go on a family cruise line and have the ice cream shop called that and there's the show never sleep alone and different things like that that virgin voyages can do because there's no kids but what i will say is like everything is done very tastefully like nothing has ever come across seedy or like below par like, everything's done very well so i mean if you are a swinger and that's what you like to do i would say you have just as much chance at finding another swinger couple or a unicorn on virgin voyages as you do on any other cruise line but yeah i hope you've enjoyed that video very different to other videos we've done but i saw other people doing videos on it and i thought why not i'll just put my two cents in i'll tell them my little pineapple necklace story um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please smash the like button because it really helps me out. And if you have any video suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. Um, but thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.